Good day everyone! My name is Sati Kyra Uri. Maria of Awadapula. Trixie Rabaya. Kay Antopina. Stephanie is Juarez. Jude Pamulagan. Mel Jack Louis C. Igot. Leonardo M. Amora III. And we are students from grade 11 virtual. Have you ever wondered why viruses and infectious agents invade a cell to start an infection? Many cells need to bring a variety of materials like bacteria, um, dead host cells, deb debris from other cells into their cytoplasm. Large objects such as uh, viruses, bacteria, or other particles are too large to use small channels to transport through the plasma membrane. As a result, cells engulf the larger objects and pull them in. Process known as endocytosis can be classified into several types, one of which is phagocytosis. For today's content, we will dig deeper about phagocytosis. Zygocytosis is the process by which a cell engulfs and digests a particle zygo. Cytosis is, is derived from the Greek words phago, which means devouring, and cyte, which means cell, which is why this process is also called a cell eating. It is a process by which cells in an organism's immune system consume bodily intruders such as bacteria, as well as engulf and eliminate cell debris. Phagocytosis is used by some single-celled organisms, such as amoebas, to eat and acquire nutrients. This occurs when a cell attempts to destroy something, such as a virus or an infected cell, and is frequently used by immune system cells. Cells have to complete some steps in order to successfully phagocytize something. In order to illustrate this a little easier, let's say we are following a macrophage, a type of immune cell, phagocytizing a virus. First process of the phagocytosis is the unity of the pump, or pathogen-associated molecular pattern and phagocyte. Since they will unite, they will form like into a capsule. Imagine a capsule and imagine it is the pump and the phagocyte uniting. This phagocyte is stuck into the cell while the pump is outside. In short, the phagocyte is waiting for the unity between the pump and itself. After their unity, they will be surrounded by a phagosome. Phagosome is the one who protects the pump and phagocyte once they are united. Since they are now united in the phagosome, they are now coated inside the cell in the cell membrane. Once these two will enter the cell, they will face the cell membrane's lysosome. Lysosome contains enzymes or pathogens. So, the killing of pathogens occurs here since this is the main idea of the topic. To allow mycophage and neutrophils to kill the pathogens inside the cell, and by that, the capsule inside phagosome and lysosome will unite. Once they will be united, it will be called as phagolysosome. If these two will unite already, that will be the time of killing the microsome or pathogens. If those are killed, the process is called exocytosis. Exocytosis serves as the door so that the waste materials can leave the cell because they can stay inside the cell. Ay, lapig, itaguan ngayon na. 
Oh, nai nai gaming bata nai hasuk tip. Oh guys, na toolbox. Sponsored by alcohol sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs>